Hey YouTube, Ruin Flame Cat. I'm just doing a quick update. Uh, nothing new is eccentrically. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I just wanted to do an update because I'm doing commissions and I've been screaming commissions forever. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show a quick bit of what I'm actually capable of. So, uh, my commission for my cousin with Zero the Ghost Dog. Well, let me throw this back a bit so you guys can get a better look. So, here's Zero. It's quite big. I didn't intend him to be this big, but I made the pattern, so I couldn't necessarily help it. So, that side, that side. And then his ears, they have pipe cleaner on the, uh, the sides here. So, um, you can actually pose them to some extent. I should have used batting when stuffing his ears, but it didn't dawn on me until I had already stuffed them and sewed them in, and I was like, oh, oops, I could have done that. Urgh. I've obviously got to put on his nose yet, but um, that'll that'll be done in soon, I guess. But anyway, um, I'm leaving the pattern out, and currently, um, if you guys want one of these, the first one... Obviously, this guy is going for $50 if you want him. Um, my commissioner uh, has dropped off the face of the planet, and I haven't heard from them, and they haven't contacted me, so um, I'm not necessarily giving this up, but if I don't hear from them within the next week, um, this is going to be up for sale, because next week is when the commission was up, and when this was supposed to be done, and everything's done, I just have to stick his head on his body. I got his body over there, but I figured I'll show his head. Unless you guys want to see the body. Eh, might as well. Hold up! So. so, here's his collar, and then... His body is actually in two pieces. I gotta sew down the spine because if, when I first put it together, I sewed, you know, both pieces right down the middle, and he ended up laying flat like a pillow. So to give him, oh, excuse me, the more tense shape, you know, I didn't have to sew. But it's uh, pretty big, and then his little curly tail, and then he's he's got stuffing sticking out here, but. I'm going to stuff him a bit more, so um, obviously his body just needs the, the final stitch, and then just to put his head on his body. So, collar will go on, like so, and then his head goes on top, obviously, and then you will have yourself a zero plush. So. If you guys want one, um, I've got the pattern out. I've already got fabric. Um, I'm more than willing to make you guys one. Now, since this, like I said, this is the first one, so $50 if you want the first one. But like I said, hold off if you guys want them for, you know, a good week or so. And, um, you know, if my commissioner gets back in touch with me, I will inform you guys with another vlog. So don't worry about it. You don't have to be like, oh my god, she's never going to talk to us again. Ah! But if they don't, well, $50, okay? And this is actually going way cheaper than I, than I actually should. But, um, you know, I could moan and groan about how I've been working on them for a week. And at minimum wage, this would already be in the hundreds. But I'm trying to cut you guys a nice deal. I'm, you know, trying to get my work out there. And so if you want a nice zero plush to cuddle, he's made of crushed velvet. Okay, so he's extremely soft, just putting that out there. And then his mouth and his collar are made of just a plain cotton. You know. So, if you guys want him, take me home! <laughs> so, I'll keep an update with that. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for uh, my plushies, or my plushies at the moment. I've got a... Uh, a plush of my character floating around, but 
I'll show that when it's more done. Right now it just looks like a mutilated tiger thing. Um, <laughs> that's the thing with making plushies. They always look weird and mutilated at one point, and then you start stuffing them and it's like, they come to life! Woo! So, anyway guys. <laughs> rip your head off. Like I said, give me, you know, if you want a plush. Oh, I should say, the second plushes, um, I'm going to be selling them for 35 Maybe a bit smaller, but um, if you want them, you know, definitely give me, give me a holler. And also, if you want any other commission, I mean, I have no problems with doing Pokemon, Digimon, um, I can do humans. You know, of course, um, if it's the first of its kind, which it probably will, considering, you know, People may or may not be doing uh, commissions with their own characters, what have you. I've got no qualms with doing anything, okay? Um, now if you guys... Okay, putting this out there, because I'm sure somebody out there will probably be like, Ew, hey. Um, if you want me to do weird things like erotic or sex toys, um, I don't know how I'll react to that. I'm going to say no thank you. Unless you're willing to pay, like, real big bucks, because that's just weird, having, you know, Oh, hey, Suzanne, what's this? Oh, hey, that's that commission for that blow-up doll that it, uh, some guy wanted me to do. Um, putting it out there, uh, I don't think I'd be too comfortable unless you're gonna pay five million dollars. So, please, for the love of God, don't, don't ask me to do anything erotic. I've got no problem drawing you know, weird, you know, I mean, has anyone gone to my DeviantArt? You know, I can draw nudes and whatnot, I have no problem doing nudes, but as soon as you start crossing the line into weird, like, pornographic type deal, that's where I kind of draw the line, so I've got no problems, just for the love of God, please keep it sane and decent. Um, let's see, so yeah, please no, no weird, sexy, gross things. But anyway, um, that's all I really want to rant about, other than, uh, you know, sorry I've disappeared off the face of the planet. Um, I should change my dry erase board. Wrong side. My nephew got it that. Um, I hope that somebody won't be like, oh my god, copyright, copyright. Sorry. <laughs> and then, if you notice, trash can. And then above, it says, use it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, oh, actually, if you notice over my shoulder, that's another plush I've been working on. It's a turkey. And it's made of socks. And it's headless. Why it's headless is because I actually used up the all my socks. So, if someone can donate me a sock, any color, because obviously my turkey being, well, different colors. <laughs> so... Anyway, this plush will be for sale once it has a head. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I just wanted to rant and rave about, uh, what I was up to. And if you guys really need slash want a stuffed animal or a drawing or something, please commission, please. I love you guys lots and lots. Um, feel free to comment, even if you don't want a commission, you know, bounce ideas back and forth, I don't care. Um, in any events, uh, that's it for this blog, and I'll stop rambling so you guys can get on with your lives. Alright, talk to you later.